Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. It's a Bardio workout today, so it's a combination of bar exercises with cardio. All right, we're gonna do a format of 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. Repeat for three rounds, then move on to the next superset. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout. I'm also gonna use the back, high back of my bench to hold on to for some support. You could use a chair, uh, a wall, a bar, whatever you have available in your home. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Are you looking for more structure in your workouts? I do have a free download on right now. You can click or tap the card at the top of the screen or in the description below. I lay out a week's worth of workouts, how I choose them, what I think about, what goes into planning my week of workouts based on my targets. And that's for you for free. You can download today. All right. Ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. All right, I'm putting bar, open goal bar on my watch there. Let's warm things up here. Uh, let's start with a plie, okay, nice and wide. And we're gonna do a big stretch up here. Reach, very nice. Stay wide and let's touch our toes. Opposite hand to foot. And a nice side to side lunge, reach your hips back. Center, come up to standing, some circles here. Switch directions. Good, hands out to the side, one hand behind the head, one behind the back, and we'll switch. Release, stretch and reach. Last here, and some roundhouses. Let's do a little heel dig with a front press. Continue to just get a little blood flow to those shoulder joints. Good, now press it to the ceiling here. And out to the side. Into some tiptoes, swing your arms all the way up to the tiptoes. That's it, 10 more. Finish right here. All right, there's the first superset. All right, we're gonna start with the bar move, grab your little weights, and here we go. Okay, I'm starting with those light two pound dumbbells. Three tricep pulse into a front squat raise. So pop it up to those tiptoes here and let's reach it back and pulse for three. Here we go. So you're one, two, three into that squat. Good. So I'm up on those tiptoes, activating calves. Nice flat back when I hit the tricep.
Okay, that required some balance, didn't it? Set the weights aside. You're gonna go into a side shuffle. Frog squat, you can low impact with the side walk and drop the glutes. All right, shuffle and drop. back to your same bar exercise. Cardio will be different each time, but let's put some more overload on those bar. All right, up to the tiptoes and pulse. One, two, three, and pull it in front. quads, a little bit of triceps, but mostly calves. <laughs> All right, you're going into the two seals, two frogs, there's low impact if you wish. One, two, drop for one, two. three. All right. Core engaged. And we up on the tiptoes. Pulse two, three, and sit into it. That was really calfy for me. <laughs> Very calfy. Double high knee right here. There's your low impact. Kick it up. Here we go. One, two, and switch.
All right, I'm grabbing my high back and we're into the next exercise. I'll just take one of my dumbbells, holding on to something. You're going to plie out to the side, then twist out to the side, and then up to tiptoe with that knee in. I'll call half and we'll switch. So you're here and turn wide and tiptoe. Switch your side, take it wide, turn wide and up. Moving into your two abductor jumps, two squats. You could do abductor jumps the whole time if you wish. Otherwise, you'll mod here. And then two squats, two jumps. So we jump and click. Now two squats, one, two, two jumps. Back to your bar. I like this guy. Of course, you could go a little heavier if you wish. Nice big reach overhead. Again, I'll call half. Super tall. Plie and twist. Wide and tiptoe. One on this side, switch. Front kick, back kick. Low impact will be right here. Two back, two front. All right, middle hop in between. One, two, back, one, two. Round three. Okay. Feels like this exercise would be easier in bare feet, but I want to keep the shoes on for the cardio. So nice and tall, low and turn. Switch. Nice. 
Nice, setting that down. You're gonna go into two jacks and then in, out, in, out, squat jump. Where there's your low impact, two jacks. One, two, narrow, wide, narrow. Very nice. Okay, walk it out. Quick water sip if you need. Pause if you need a longer break. There's the next circuit. Holding one dumbbell. Hold on to something. You're gonna hinge at the waist. We're gonna do a full reach extension out and then drive that side in. I'll call half and we'll switch legs. Flat back, core engaged. We reach, we drive. Now come up to your tiptoe here on the drive part, if you can. So as you draw everything in, it's tiptoe, lengthen, and up. Very nice. Last one on this side. All right, switch your side. We lengthen and drive and tiptoe. Try not to rotate the hips up. use this lightweight for my frog jack uh, front press. You can drop it low, push in the front. There's your low impact. Otherwise, we're hopping. Drop it low. Low, push there. Don't shrug. work. Definitely kick the heart rate up. All right, back to your extension. Up to that tiptoe if you can. Back is flat, big reach here. We lengthen and draw in. Last one here, and switch your side. Set that down into your one, two, three, elbow to knee. Okay, you can cross behind if you're doing low impact. I'm gonna do a shuffle. One, two, three, one, two, three.
Very good. One more here. Okay. Here we go. And we stretch and draw. Sides. Great way to strengthen those calf muscles. Plie hop front and back. You can pulse with the front walk, pulse with the back. That's your low impact. One, two, jump. One, two, and back. We got those inner thighs good. Okay, quick water rest. There's the next circuit. With those light weights again, back into your plie. Toes out, knees out. Little pulses with that pulsing lateral raise. So nice rapid fire. So lift light. Shoulders back and drop. You're here and lift. All right, nice. Nice volume here on those medial delts. And if the arms fatigue, you're here, right? And if the legs fatigue, you're here. All right, otherwise, keep it going. Stay tall, don't lean forward, rock the glutes. substantial. Into your diagonal ice skater. You're starting at the front of your mat. Go to the diagonal. Front, other side diagonal. Regular ice skater if you can't get that one. Here we go. Here and pause. Here and pause. That's a good one. Into your plie pulse again. Drop low. Here we go. And lift. Holding your breath, 
even though we're holding those isometric contractions in the quads. Feel that. Let's climb the ladder. I'm gonna shake out those quads a little bit. All right, you're here for a low impact. Otherwise, kick it up, high knees. Back to your last round here. Whew. Kicking it up wide and work. Going to that traveling scissors. You can stay stationary and just give me a nice rapid fire tap back. Slight forward lean for low impact. Otherwise, arms are on the side, side to side. Of course, you could stay in one spot and do this if you don't wish to travel. All right, last one, we're going down to the ground, adding in a little bit of abs and then standing for your cardio. Let's take it down on the ground. You're doing that ab rollout into that V-sit extension. All right, you can stick with just that ab roll up to here if you can't do the balance part. Nice and tall. So we roll up to the tailbone and you're here. Try to extend those legs out and find your balance point. That's it, a little pause, good. Cardio, it's going to be like a little combo of cardio and bar. Back to that plie. And we're going to do a rapid fire bicep curl while pulsing. Knees are out over the toes. So you're here. Let's go. Just little ones. Because we didn't burn those inner thighs out enough the last round. <laughs> I just have one of these for you, not to worry. We won't repeat it, I promise.
Just wanted to get a little bicep in here today. On your back again, into your rollout with the V-sit. If this hurts your tailbone altogether, feel free to just do a turtle crunch here, okay? Get ready, let's work. You're here, up and extend. Very good, up to standing into your split split squat. You'll tap tap squat for low impact here. Otherwise drop your glutes low in the squat. Here we go. And drop. All right, last round, folks. Take her down. Work hard on pausing there at the top if you can. Actually, I really like this exercise. My tailbone's fine, so it feels good. Here we go. It's a challenge to stay balanced, isn't it? <laughs> All right, last cardio is gonna be a reverse lunge hop. Low impact will be that reverse lunge knee. I'll call half will switch. Work hard, last cardio. Here we go, take it low. Drive high and low. Last one on this side, switch legs. Last five seconds. In three, two, one and done. You've moved daily in your Bardio workout. Nice work, everyone. Inner thighs felt that. Okay, join me down on the ground for a stretch if you can. Let's start right in that pigeon position. Stretch out those glutes and inner thighs, hip flexors here. All right, nice work. That was good, not too long. I just wanted a 30 minute little blast because I'm going for a bigger walk today, hike. So I just wanted something, something little, but uh, 
a nice repeat with some of those bar exercises, getting to know some of them. I think my calves will feel that tomorrow. I don't typically do a lot of calf or anterior, like tibialis anterior, front and back of the lower part of the leg. Um, it's easier with equipment, I find. You know, if they had like a calf raise or a tibialis raise at a gym, and I don't have that. So then you're kind of makeshifting, which is fine. Let's go into the butterfly stretch. But it just makes me go, well, I feel like I've done those three exercises that you can do with dumbbells. <laughs> Time to move on to something else, you know? So I feel like I don't necessarily put them on as frequently as we should. Uh, I do like doing a step down, single leg step down from a step. Um, I don't use my box or anything, but my stairs, you know, the bottom step, you step on there with one leg and then you just step down with the other. And that's really great for knee health. I don't know if any of you follow the knees over toes guy, but he's got so many wonderful protocols for strengthening your vastus muscles in your quads, your tibialis anterior, your calf, your Achilles, all of those muscles surrounding the knees that if we strengthened them, if we spent time doing these protocols, we'd likely have less knee pain. And that's not true for everyone. Maybe if you've had chronic knee pain your whole life, but I feel like um, the more that you can target those muscles surrounding or the ligaments and joints around that area and make them stronger, the less pain you might have. Carrying a lower percentage of body weight will also make it easier. Um, you know, if you're overweight, that puts a lot of tension and strain right on the knees as well. So that's something that could be um, monitored as well. But anyway, I, I do think that I need to add a bit more. I backward walk up the hills whenever I go for a walk by myself. Sometimes I'll do it with my friends, but all of the time when I'm by myself, I turn around. I look like an idiot walking backwards up the hills, but um, that just, my quads are on fire when I do that. I just know it is helping uh, reverse out knee pain, I guess, as Ben would say from the knees over toes guy. So yeah, I try to do that. All right, thanks for joining this workout. It was a good little sweat. We moved, we, we did it, and we'll see you in the next workout. We moved, we did it. Is that how you're ending? I guess.